Assalamu alaikum. A uh, lot of time I got a question that how do you install or how do you get the geographical data for path loss. So usually I use SRTM so I thought I should make a small video to tell you that how you can download the SRTM files for your area and uh, what is the total whole procedure of uh, downloading data so this video is related to srtm data only but uh, for other data types as well if you someone is interested in some other data then he can uh, give a comment and i can make a video for him as well so we assume that you don't have any srtm data and you want to do a project and you need the srtm data so there are basically two steps uh, the first step is you have to register there is a free website from US government the NASA website from where you can get SRTM data free of cost for any region of the world so one way is to search the site on Google because I am using this site many times so I will add this URL in the description of my video as well so that you can get this URL directly otherwise you can search for for NASA for our data uh, and you will reach to this uh, URL so once you go to this URL you have to register as a new user and then you have to save that registration because the registration should be used in another uh, app that I will just let you know so to register on the NASA website you have to provide them a username what password you will keep so username must be minimum four characters and not more than 30 characters your password should be minimum of eight characters one uppercase one lowercase and one number should be there in the password then you, they will ask you very simple question like your name your email address your country information a bit about you from where you belong i mean your government apply someone personal or someone doing just for nothing I mean you can just provide anything here it's not very strict but uh, they need some replies why you want to use it it's optional but if you want then you can provide them this data as well so you have to acknowledge and you have to tell them you are not a report once you are done with all of these things and your username and password is registered then you have to go on another site uh, I will give the description of the other URL in my description as well but uh, just to make it easy for you you can the name of the software is fetch SRTM so you can search and you can reach this uh, path loss site here there is a link to this tool this is a uh, if you will click here an exe file will download and then you will be able to get this exe file that you have to install and then you can use it to get srtm data the same method that i am telling you is written here as well that how you will use this tool so i will try to give you some uh, demo of the tool i mean this single screen is also very good it's enough for you to know but uh, i will just give you a demo of the actual software so this software i have already installed first thing you have to tell it that where you are going to uh, save the data you have to specify a physical directory in your system once you are done with it then you can choose the data type generally for the world it's SRTM one inch tiles otherwise there are some for North America and US there are some other formats as well we'll just get back to this for a while now there are four numbers that you have to provide so from where these four numbers will come there are many ways to know these four numbers uh, one way is to use path loss 
uh, the area just for example I will open path loss uh, so that I can give you some idea so for example this is path loss and I open my one test network now you need to provide four numbers from the four corners like for example these are my sites these are scattered in a very big area so I need to provide four numbers one number from this corner 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 so for example if you go back to this it's asking for the north latitude so this is my north and in north my maximum latitude when my cursor is here if you see in this corner this is the lat and long when my cursor is in the top north my latitude is 36 so I should provide 36 here I should put a number 36 and then my south latitude when my cursor is in the whole south then the latitude is 24 so I should provide 24 here then we need west and east that longitude so for example I know that Pakistan it goes a bit on the more left somewhere here so like I can put 64 as my west long and 76 as my east long so I will put 64 and 76 and now when I will ask him to start fetching it will start almost 3 GB of data it will start it will start to download all the files and the files should be saved in the directory where I have asked it to save the files so as I already have this data so like for example I can make a backdrop you can see the data is there so I get all the map data but uh, this data has come from the same procedure I mean you have to provide your limits that okay I need the data between these areas don't go for a very big area because if you go for a very big area it will become a burden on your system and don't go for a smaller area if you will get a smaller area maybe some of your site should have a missing tile and then you will have to download the specific tile again so I hope this uh, small uh, video should be helpful for you if you need any further information about any other format or you need some more detail of the same format then do let me know and uh, I have other videos where you can see that how this GIS files are configured within path loss but still anyone if he needs any information you can always get back to me and I will reply you okay thanks